Hey Collective, we're going to do a quick energy check, see what your ancestors, the universe, the divine want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've already called in the appropriate protection, it's a timeless reading, it's whenever I find you. So as I'm sitting here shuffling, first cards that flew out, effortlessly, emergence, celebration. Um, at the bottom of the deck, it was, um, what is that card at? Fertility? It was like a storm, a tur like a tower. It was volcano. Yeah, tower. I feel like you guys passed some kind of tower. Whatever this tower was, this tower was. And if this is not happening right now, this could be past energy, current energy, near future energy. But there's something about this tower that you guys passed effortlessly. You guys emerged as the dragonfly. You guys didn't allow your emotions to be consumed or get chaotic. I feel like there's a reason to celebrate. You guys are going to be celebrating very soon. I feel like you guys are seeing these towers now in a different way. You're no longer scared of them. You're like, yes, spirit. What else needs to be released? You're like, I'm ready. like you did exactly what spirit wanted you to do release this you just allowed the tower to pass through you guys started seeing this tower in a higher perspective and knew that whatever this tower came with it had to be released yeah there's a rebirth spring equinox rebirth Your ancestors are proud of you. Your ancestors are proud of you. You didn't have to get snake like, sneaky, conniving, um, manipulative. Whatever this tower was, it it could have either gotten you guys in anger, frustration, feeling vengeful, but you passed it effortlessly. You kept your hands clean. You didn't get vengeful. Your ancestors are protecting you. They're protecting your hands. They're protecting you from having to do anything negative. Karmic. Seek venge venge vengeance. Your ancestors are protecting you. So you can stay focused on your on your path. They want you to stay focused on your path. Mm, this is beautiful, guys. I love when I get readings like this for you guys. It makes me so happy. Happy. attention to the signs you paid attention to the, the the messages sorry guys the cats are acting crazy daughter's cat here with me and Yang and her have been going at it.
miracles, ancient wisdom. Touching earth. Sorry, guys. Touching earth, planting something new. I feel like Spirit is just allowing you guys to focus on what you guys are working on so that you guys could take action on your abundance. Eight, divine masculine, active power. This could be also your divine masculine going through this, passing a test. You know, you guys can have you guys have both masculine and feminine within self. Yep. Balance. Stability, standing firm. Portal, infinite mind, awakening conscience. I feel like you guys sensed it. You knew something was coming. Something was trying to throw you guys off your game. And you passed effortless, effortlessly. Spirit said there's going to be a reason to celebrate because you passed this test. Something has been activated within you. I'm strongly getting that. Some of you guys do energy healing. Healing work. You sense these energies when they get near you. You sense them. You're like, what is that I'm feeling? A lot of you guys communicate with your ancestors when something's off. A lot of people ask me, how do you connect with your ancestors? You just talk to them the way you talk to anybody else. Ancestors, I know you're there. Ancestors of the highest white light. This is what's going on with me today. Make them a cup of coffee. Make you a cup of coffee and just sit there. And just start talking. They're always near you. Some of you guys feel when they're touching you. <laughs> Clarity, yo. Yeah. Somebody's getting true. Somebody's feeling their ancestors get near them. Angelic assistance. I can never make this up. Divine guidance, loving support. Somebody has gained clarity. Somebody's learning how to alchemize these energies. Somebody's an energy healer. They feel and sense the energy coming towards them. And they're able to transmute it, redirect it. Somebody's hands are very powerful. Your ancestors have been following you since you was a child. And the way you tap into them is when you when you tap into that childlike innocence. place like home your ancestors this is you your ancestors are always watching your home why 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 are we getting a message like that what happened somebody may have tried to bring some drama some tower to your home your foundation 
Your ancestors were not letting that happen. They were trying to fuck with your new life. Your milk and honey. Your happy, happy. Your ancestors are like, I don't fucking think so. You're gonna have to get through me before you come towards her or him. Take it where it resonates. Whoever I'm speaking to you, you're so protected. Yum. Yeah. You're so protected. Because you're on your divine path. This is something you're fated to do. And people are trying to block you from exchanging gifts with your ancestors. Your ancestors, they're, they're trying to block your ancestors from exchanging gifts with you. But that'll never work. Your home, your destiny, your new life, your happy, happy, your abundance is all protected. Somebody is highly protected here. What else, my beautiful ancestors of the highest white light? Archangels, ascending masters, divine spiritual abundance you passed a test you passed something collective if this is resonating with you let me know yes yeah, spirit said that's the truth that's the truth archangel gabrielle thank you gabrielle for helping me speak with integrity you guys made sure that your actions was aligned Like, a lot of people could sit here and say, I'm I'm spiritual, I'm connected. Yeah, look, you're so protected, son. A lot of people say, I, 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 I you know, I'm on, I'm on my path. I'm, you know, stepping into my divinity. But then they go behind people's back, gossip about them, spread rumors about them. That person's not divine. That person's vibrating in a low energy. When you're in your divine path, you don't vibrate that energy. You don't gossip, you don't talk about, you don't spread rumors, you don't you don't you don't entertain gossip. You don't even want to be around people who do that. Anybody that's acting in a low vibrational energy, you don't want to be around nobody who's going to come between your harvest, your abundance. It doesn't resonate with you. It does something to your energy. You instantly want to walk away from people who do stuff like that. And the reason why all these good goodness is coming out for you is because you don't vibrate on that energy. You don't sit here talking to people about other people. You don't have time for that because you're too busy focusing on building up yourself. You're too focused on your path. How can I make the world a better place? How can I make me a better person? How can I show up to the world the way I want to see other people showing up in my world? You speak your truth. You know what's right for you within your heart, within your mind, within your body, within your spirit. And you don't let nothing come in between that connection between you, the divine, your ancestors, and your mission, your purpose. You give thanks every day that you wake up. You're so grateful for life. Oh, I love you so much, God. You try to help people. Instead of breaking people down, you speak life into people. You never take. This is what I got for you guys.
लभलै